Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a little bit different video than my regular plant shopping videos, um, my plant care videos. I actually was thinking about it last night and I realized that between January and today, October obviously, I have acquired, whether it be through gifting, a lot of them I've bought myself, but I've acquired over a hundred new houseplants this year, just between January and today. And I have a lot going on with these house plants. It takes a lot of effort um, to care for this many house plants. And I thought I would share with you some of the good, the bad, and the ugly that I'm dealing with right now. I did a house plant tour a couple months ago, so it's not going to be technically a house plant tour, but I am going to be sharing a lot of my plants with you and kind of what's going on with them. And since my last house plant tour, I've acquired a few more wishlist plants. So I'm gonna be sharing with you like how they're doing. And as I said, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So in addition to my plants that are thriving, I'm dealing with you know some plants that I'm struggling with right now. Plants that aren't doing that great, or I'm dealing with a bad case of spider mites right now. I always do my best as a plant mom. Um, and it's hard, it like hits me hard when a plant doesn't make it, but it does happen. Just like I know it happens to everybody. And it's really easy to like, paint it everything really peachy and it's not i'm dealing with everyday stuff just like you guys are and i thought i would show some of that to you guys today and just keep it real and be like hey this is what i'm dealing with like, you know i really feel it when when my plants aren't doing great and i'm going to be sharing some of that with you today so with that said i'm really excited to share with you the plants that are doing awesome and the ones maybe not so much um so let's jump into it So I have not had time to organize anything. I'm just gonna show you guys, you know, just how things are as is. Hello Tricky, would you like to um, let everyone know what you think about me taking care of plants and uh, not paying attention to you? Thank you very much. Hello Claire, would you like to uh, say hello to everybody? Thank you very much. One of the things that happened <laughs> was that I bought three of my wish list plants that are rare or uncommon. And the first thing I did when I got them was spray them down with what I thought was neem and it was carpet cleaner. And I, when I say I sprayed them, I doused them. So I have to say, so it's been, you know, a few months now and they're doing awesome. If you ever find yourself in a situation like that, I um, repotted them washed them down, did the whole thing, and it worked. One of the things that I've done is remove these regular light bulbs and I replace them with grow lights. And it's made a huge difference to my plants. I've noticed a ton of new growth happening since I did that. Yes, it is, you know, super bright as the sun in here, but I was tired of them not, you know, showing much new growth. So um, I'm excited to show you guys like the new growth that's been happening. The first one being this um, philodendron silver sword is putting out new growth here. Um, it's doing really well since I sprayed it with the carpet cleaner. It's it's doing awesome. Um, and so this one is really easy care. Uh, you know, a lot of the philodendrons I'm finding are super easy care. My two plants that I'm like really excited about this year are the philodendrons and the Hoyas. Like both have been exceptionally easy. The other one being this Brantianum, um, which uh, I have a giveaway going on for it right now on my Instagram. But it's doing great since I got it. It's pushing out tons of new growth. Like <laughs> these are all new leaves. We have new growth down there. Um, so the philodendrons I have are doing are doing pretty well. Uh, the other one I nabbed with the carpet cleaner is this one, and it's dragon jade, and it's doing well. Like I just leave it here, and um, it gets good uh, afternoon light in this northwest window. Um, but it's not putting out much new growth. It's a slow grower. You know, my anthurium is doing really well. Uh, I had noticed it had um, like bacteria or something on it and I cut all that off and sprayed it with neem and it's doing awesome. Like, look how gorgeous this new leaf is. It's absolutely massive. Um, but that's, you know, it hasn't put out much new growth other than that one leaf. So I'm hoping with the grow lights and I'm about to turn on the humidifier with it coming into winter. So we'll see if it does a little bit better with that. So this area has a lot of new plants that I've gotten since my, you know, last houseplant tour. Um, and this Hoya carii 
is, you know, typical, like typical Hoya is just really easy and it's putting out like this leaf and it has some new growth coming here. It loves the grow light. Um, this Alocasia Black Velvet is doing awesome. It's not putting out tons of new growth, but the leaves it does have, like it's so, so happy. I found this one doesn't like to be too dried out for too long. Um, and it's my one few alocasia that doesn't have spider mites right now. And then these are a lot of the ones that I, um, that were gifted to me recently. The Hoya Chelsea, um, that viewers sent. My Jade Skim Datsis, beautiful. Hoya Matilde in here. And, uh, once they get some really good roots, I am going to pop them up. Look how pretty that is. This orchid I got at the beach, um, that I just got back from is my first orchid ever. Really, really excited about this one. This Monstera Peru, I go back and forth with this. I always forget that it doesn't like a, like too much light. And then I had it up by the window and the leaves started turning this yellow color. The last time this happened, I removed it from the window and it started doing way better. But it is putting out some awesome new growth here, which I'm really excited to see because it's been a while since this one put out new growth. This Hoya is was a recent find, this uh, variegated Wyetii, and it's just doing awesome. I mean, that's one of my takeaways from this year are Hoyas are so easy care. The only one that has given me like any kind of trouble this year is my Curtisii downstairs. I can't seem to like figure that one out, but like all these other Hoyas are doing awesome except for this one. Now this one's kind of hanging out over here in a little bit of quarantine um, because it was near my uh, alocasias that have spider mites that I'm dealing with and I noticed a few little like stringy strings on there so I'm keeping a close eye on it um, but typically I have not had any issues with my Hoyas getting stuff like that but we'll see how that goes. Here's my new Anthurium fingers that I got recently. It's so cool. Um, I'm excited for it to put out even more fingers on the larger leaves um, and we'll see like how that goes. Um, not too much to report over here. Like everything's fine. This was where the spider mites really started coming out. So all the ones that were over here now outside in quarantine, I'll show you guys what I'm dealing with in a bit. This Calathea orbifolia has been putting out tons of new growth. Like, I couldn't even keep up with how much new growth it was having. It was under here. I have a little grow light under here. And it was putting out so much new growth that it grew out of there. But it is really doing well. Um, the leaves, I don't know why it was doing this like crinkling stuff. Um, I started watering it with distilled water because it was doing a little bit of this action here as you can see. But since I started doing distilled water, the newer leaves, um, the newer leaves aren't having that problem. This one loves light. Like, but I'm wondering if maybe it was getting a little bit too much light, but it's gotten huge. I like, can you guys believe it? I mean, just a couple months ago, I got that from my Raleigh Durham trip. It was only like four little leaves and now it's just exploded. This was one of the ones that I've gotten. Yes, this is probably an embarrassing one that I could just pass over, but I'm just going to be you know, honest with you guys about what's happening. Um, this one is a wishless plant of mine and I'm like hoping it turns the corner. Um, it's a Calathea war, war I think. Um, and you know, it is doing the typical Calathea stuff here. I don't know. I hope it perks up. I don't know what to do for it. I've been doing distilled water and doing my best to take care of it, but that's, you know, that is what it is. Aluminum plant, killing it. Um, my cactus, my cacti collection, I recently did a video of it where I like showed you my stuff. Um, I didn't realize that cacti need to be watered regularly during the summer. I thought that they are fine just hanging out every once in a while, but you know, every once in a while give them some water, but no. I've been watering these almost once a week, once every two weeks. Um, I don't let them like get too wet or anything, obviously, cause they'll die quickly being cacti, but they need some water, you know, during the growing season. I know like we're coming in some months where I won't need to water them as much, but they were not happy until I started watering them and now they've perked up. This lipstick plant is doing awesome. It's so easy. Like it kind of hangs out here by itself. So I probably don't do as much as I should for it. Like I'm sure it could do with my regular watering, but look. 
It's one of the only plants that's putting out a little bloom for me this year. All my hard work and no blooms, except for this baby. Look how cute it is. But yeah, I do love this. Alocasia Bambino, you know, doing all right. <laughs> oh, okay, this string of hearts puts out so much new growth. I had, I chopped it all off from the houseplant tour I did a few months ago. Like I chopped it short too, probably to here, and it has put out all this new growth. And I have it propagating all the stuff that I chopped off here. And like, all of this is new. So string of hearts, if you give it enough light, grows like, crazy fast. A lot of you all pro probably know that. I had not had string of hearts before this year. So Hoya Rattusa doesn't do much. It just kind of chills out. Um, I mean, I love it, but it's just kind of hanging out. Doesn't need anything, just like most of the Hoyas. So this Allocation Maharani is one of the few that has not given me any trouble at all. Like I'm so grateful for this one because it's so beautiful and it needs nothing. All my other Allocation are giving me a headache. Look, it even is putting out a new leaf. Thank you for being happy. Thank you. Um, this variegated string of hearts hasn't really done much, so maybe it needs more light. I don't know. Then I bought this Calathea. I know I'm a glutton for punishment, but I always give plants a shot. I got this Calathea um, at the beach where I got my orchid from like Home Depot for $15. And I have to say, I love it. I'm so excited about it. I hope that it does well. I know some people don't like the way these look. I really love the variegation. I think it's a really cool looking plant. And I put it in a, this little basket from Ikea and it's adorable. Amazing ZZ, amazing uh, Whale Fin Sansevieria. These don't need anything. They're, uh, they're just crushing life. Super easy Hoya Shepardii. Doing great, doesn't need anything. This Calathea Sabrina is doing surprisingly well. Like, it's pretty sturdy. I'm I'm surprised, I mean, obviously it has some crisping, but I didn't start watering it with distilled until recently and um, it's doing well, considering. Um, so this is my Mykins. It is so easy, doing great. Um, I find that my Mykins really don't need much. It has lots of new growth at all times happening. So I, I'm always really appreciative of my philodendrons lately. All right, this, um, I always pronounce it wrong. Biete, Bietai, Bietie. It is doing so great, guys. This was one of the ones that I sprayed with carpet cleaner and it just put out this brand new leaf. It is so happy. I have, like I said, grow lights under here and it just loves it. I do eight hours on, eight hours off. It has, um, God, my stomach's grumbling. It has new growth coming out here. I'm so happy that this one is love and life as much as it is, uh, because this was, this was a wishless plant for so long and I'm obsessed with how beautiful this plant is. I hope it gets huge and has lots of great growth. And then uh, I have this variegated African violet and it's doing pretty well. So now I'm gonna take you downstairs where I have a lot of my struggles going on. So let's go. I'm not gonna show all my plants down here. I'm not doing a houseplant tour, obviously, um, but I did wanna point out that this Monstera Deliciosa is actually doing pretty well. Um, they're so easy. I had no idea how awesome Monstera Deliciosas were un until I got this one. I can't decide if I need to repot it, if any of you guys know. I feel like Monsteras are okay being root bound and that's what they prefer, but this one is pretty uh, root bound and I haven't repot it since I got it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Can't really tell, but it is pretty root bound. So I'm a little nervous to repot it though, cause I love it so much and I like don't want to mess it up. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want like a, you know, in, more in detail about all the plants I have upstairs and downstairs, watch my houseplant tour. I'll put a link here. Um, but just kind of a glance over of some of the ones that are noteworthy right now. This Hoya Curtisii is the only one that really gives me any kind of trouble. I, I can't really figure out what it wants. If I water it, leaves seem to die. If I don't water it, leaves seem to die. I, I'm just like toeing that line where it's doing okay. I have noticed some new growth happening. I don't know if you can see, but so I cannot describe how much hope and how much better I feel every time I walk past and see this little tiny baby leaf. Um, because I was feeling pretty discouraged <laughs> about this plant. Oop, 
Look, we got some more little baby ones. Okay, maybe I'm not sucking so bad on this plant, but I'm this one has been stressing me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But for the most part, none of my Hoyas give me trouble. Like, look how awesome this Pupacalyx is doing. It needs nothing from me, and it's just bursting out with all these new vines and trails. This Adansonii is also love and life. Look at this thing. Maybe you guys can like explain to me what's going on here, but it was putting out new leaf, new leaf, new leaf, new leaf, and then all of a sudden it put out this vine without leaves. I don't know, is there a baby leaf in there maybe? I I just don't understand what it's doing. Like, there's no leaf. Will it put out leaves after? Like, what's happening? I'm glad it's happy and growing, but I hope it's gonna put out some leaves on there. I don't know. They didn't fall off. It just hasn't put them out yet. This Begonia Maculata Whitei is doing so great. She puts out new leaves all the time. I'm so grateful for her. She makes me wanna go buy up like a bunch of cane begonias because look at all that new growth happening. I'm so proud of her. She's doing great. Oh, super exciting also. I can't wait to show you guys this variegated ZZ that you all know I found for $6.99. Look at the new growth I noticed the other day. Yes. Oh crap. It is putting, oops. It is putting out new babies like all over the place boom 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 i hope they're variegated i can't tell yet but yeah it's putting out all sorts of new babies and it hasn't shown any growth since i got it months ago so fingers crossed on that one i'm so excited this maranta is super easy uh i mean i am a big fan of these and uh it's very easy it hasn't had a lot of crisping or anything like that so a lot more, a lot easier than like some of the Calatheas and stuff that I'm dealing with. This one I don't want to show, but I feel like I have to just to show like a plant's going to be doing awesome. And then all of a sudden they get all crappy. Look at my pink peperomia guys. She was in all of her glory doing awesome. And then I don't know what happened, but I repotted her because she was going downhill and you know, I think that she got too much sunlight here. She liked it during the winter. She didn't like it during the summer. So I've moved her away from it. And she does have new growth coming out at least, which I'm happy to see. I'm propagating a bunch of these leaves just in case I lose her. But she did awesome for so long for me. And then all of a sudden it went downhill. So don't feel bad if this kind of thing happens to you because it happens to all of us. But yeah, I don't know. This is one of my like favorite plants and I'm hoping she makes a comeback better. This jungle boogie that I got from Cactus Club is putting out so much new growth. This this leaf is new. Um, it, it, I mean, there's so much new growth happening. Philodendrons are amazing. I, I'm loving, I'm loving philodendrons and Hoyas right now because they're just, they're just uh, giving me so much love lately and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this guy. And begonias too. The cane begonias are doing awesome. Um, this Trandescantia Nanook. It's, I think it's okay. It did, again, embarrassing. I don't want to show, but I'm going to make myself. It has a lot of this stuff going on. And I got worried. Is that bacteria? Do I need to do some neem? But up top, it's not doing that. So I'm going to let it grow a little bit more and then start to propagate and like put it back in here and hopefully fill it up a little bit, but it's doing okay. It's not growing as fast as I would like it to though. Maybe I should move it away from the window. What do you guys think? Let me know. This Hoya macrophylla is doing so great. She wasn't for a while. I mentioned that during my houseplant tour, but then I realized she doesn't like to be dried out too long. So I have been better with watering and she put out new leaves all the time. She has this new little like branch coming out. None of my Hoyas have bloomed for me this year, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for next year since I have a little bit better idea how to take care of them. But both of these are new. So I'm really excited for this baby. I think I'd like to repot her. Um, but I think I'll probably wait till beginning of next year. <sighs> my poor Calathea medallion. She's fine. She's not thriving though, but she's okay. But, you know, I don't know. It's okay though. Again, oh, so this is my one philodendron. 
Ugh, I'm hating like admitting all my what feels like failures, but I know we all go through it. But this lemon lime is not loving life. <laughs> it's the only philodendron that's not. I think it's because I had her over here by the fireplace. I had her here because my golden pothos is fine, but this one was not happy about it. Um, so I moved her here. Now that I'm looking, like I do see new growth happening. So maybe she's perking up a little bit, but I was feeling like I couldn't do right by her, but maybe it'll come back. I did a Peperomia Pink Lady propagation video, um, care and propagation. And I don't know if you can see, but it has like so many new roots coming out. All I did was pull a leaf off or cut a leaf off and put it in water. And here we are um, a few weeks later and it's got all sorts of new, new roots coming out. I'm really, really excited about that. In case I lose my other one, I'll have a bunch more. Um, since my houseplant tour, a lot of you guys recommended I put this one and give it more light. So I've moved it over here by the window and it's doing okay. I mean, I guess there's like a little bit of new growth happening like here, but I don't know. That one's on the struggle bus for sure. Uh, Peperomia Hope, always doing great. So here's another like begonia that just loves North Carolina and just is happy no matter what, my looking glass begonia. This is such a happy plant. Oh look, my alocasia poly, like I think in my houseplant tour I showed how it was coming back a little bit and it has come back full force. I thought it died, but it had just gone dormant and it's super happy. Skin Dapsis pictus, I have my big one upstairs and that one's doing great. So so that's really all the noteworthy stuff down here. Obviously it's not all my plants downstairs, um, but I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I'm battling with with spider mites out on my front porch. Also wanna note that this Raven ZZ has put out tons of new growth. My ZZs have been putting out a lot of new growth lately. So I'm always appreciative of plants that don't need anything. Um, and these leaves, the new growth turned from green to the dark color, which was kind of cool to see. Love those. All right guys, dun dun dun. I've been doing the treatment with like alcohol, water, soap mixture with a makeup brush and it's definitely helped. Like they were really far gone and it, I'm just having to like, I keep having to treat them because I keep seeing the little like cobwebby things coming back. Um, my Mickey Mouse Tarot is doing much better now. Uh, this one was the worst off. And again, alocasia, they're just prone to spider mites. Um, so when I bring them inside for winter, I'm gonna keep them all quarantined and then just continue to treat them throughout the winter. Probably like at least once a week or a couple times a week. I did repot this one because I felt like I just wanted to start brand new. Um, it put out this new leaf, which a lot of the leaves coming out had gotten really small, but I'm glad to see it's really enjoyed living outside. And it looks like there is some new uh, growth coming here, so maybe it'll put out another leaf as well. But these are beautiful, but just note that they are prone to spider mites. This one, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's making it, but the poor thing just can't seem to catch a break. It's had aphids and fungus gnats and everything else under the sun, and now it just battled spider mites numerous times, and I thought it was a goner because it was dying, but... It's making it. This is my like variegated alocasia. And look how beautiful it is. When I got it, it had big leaves. They've gone so small, but yeah, had to treat the heck out of her. I was afraid I'd lose it because of the alcohol and you know, it's hard on the leaves, but it's doing okay. This plant has put out so much new growth since I got it. Like look how much new growth it's put out. Um, but I did notice some like little stringy strings on here indicating spider mites, but I've had to like put it on a moss pole and it just wants to grow super tall. I got this thing for $19 and it's just, you know, happy as can be, but man, dealing with spider mites is, is a real pain. So last but not least is my Alocasia fry deck. And uh, yeah, as you can see the treatment that I did, did you know create a little bit of damage these leaves are pretty velvety and fragile but it you know that treatment works and if you're wondering what i'm talking about it's a video um, from heart-shaped leaves and she shows you know how she combats spider mites 
using like a makeup brush and a solution of alcohol, soap, water, and it works. Um, it got rid of the spider mites, saved my plants. Big shout out to Heart Shaped Leaves. Um, her channel's awesome. So, yeah, they're, they're, they've survived. And since leaving them outside, they're, they're doing much better. But it's just a pain, man. I freaking hate spider mites. All right, this is, uh, I think, the last one I want to point out. Um, as far as noteworthy, I was really unsure about this plant. I'd heard people um, talk about how they're very difficult. And, uh, you know, they drop leaves and they're just very fussy. When I got this, it was living outside at Lowe's. So I brought it over and... Um, let it live outside here and it hasn't had any problems it's putting out new growth that's probably not going to be the case when i bring it inside for winter so uh yeah the beautiful ficus lorato though like i love the way the leaves look and the variegation and the shape of them i mean it's such a cool plant um and it likes to live outside here so i've let it do it as long as i can it can and then once it really starts to drop down I will uh, bring it inside. So there you have it. That's my update on what's going on with a lot of my plants right now, you know? Like I said, some are doing awesome, some not so much, but I really wanted to show you guys everything that's going on. I'm really excited to announce on Instagram, I'm doing a giveaway with Cactus Club right now um, for a Philodendron Brantianum. So look me up on my plant account on there and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and you wanna see more, you know, fun houseplant content. And I hadn't really mentioned it, I realized, but uh, this is one of the shirts that I sell in my store that I designed. Um, it says probably plant shopping. And I also have another one that says I'd rather be plant shopping. I couldn't decide between the two slogans. I loved them both. So they're both on there and it's really comfortable. I, I love it. Uh, feel free to take a look at that. It's in a uh, link in my description below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll see you soon. Bye.